For over four years, Flint has been dealing with this water crisis, the lead-tainted water, the diseases, and the lives. But scientist Mark Edwards has recently given them a ray of hope. Today, we have equally definitive data showing that the levels of these parameters currently in Flint water are now back to normal levels for a city with old lead pipes. But even with these new test results coming back clean, the people of Flint are not convinced. Some of them may come back good, but I don't think all of them are coming back good. The main issue is the trust that has been broken between the people and their government. I mean, they just got to be honest about it in the, in the beginning, you know. Um, you know, don't, don't let us go this long without keeping, you know, I mean, keeping us in the blind on, you know, on this water. For Father of Three, Rubio Dixon, it is not worth the risk. It's taking a risk with your kids. Now, if it was just me, then I might take a chance and say, okay, I'll see how it goes. But with your kids, you don't, you're not too quick to take a chance like that. Over 5,385 lead pipes have been replaced in Flint, but it could take years to replace all the pipes, and maybe then trust can be restored. I haven't, I haven't seen it and my pipes getting, getting replaced yet, so maybe when I start seeing them digging up my street and taking old pipes out and putting new pipes in, I might be a little more at ease. Bailey Talaska, DTV News.